Hello, hello, and welcome to Brit Reviews It All. Today I am coming to you with the review of the Sisters uh, season finale, or mid-season finale, because it says that they're coming back in October. Um, Y'all, this episode was kind of, it felt like we were kind of being just kind of thrown over here, thrown over there. And almost kind of rushing. It felt like I was being rushed through the episode. <clears throat> if that makes sense. I'm going to go ahead and start off with Danny and Preston. Um, that whole thing was pretty freaking funny. And I'm wondering if. Do we think that Preston's antics. Like is at this point is he going overboard and he's fully come down off of his high. And he is at this point messing with Danny just to kind of teach her a lesson about trying to get him to uh, smoke um, when he said that he doesn't do stuff like that. I'm just really curious. But if it's not, that entire scene was too freaking funny. Um, I kind of felt like they were laughing for real, for real at Preston and trying to keep in character. But it kind of seemed like it Every now and again, it was a little tough. Preston, he comes out full on dressed in her work attire. Um, he couldn't fit her shoes. He's talking about the oven, it trying to lock it or unlock it. Um, <clears throat> saying that they need to get ready to go to work and, you know, all this stuff. Hilarious. Um, he calls. Zach, Zach is like, what the heck is going on? Danny's like, could you please come help? Really, what I think Danny was trying to do was to get Zach to take Preston for the day so she can go to work. But it was like, ma'am, you created this. You should have never given that to him. You deal with it, okay? Anyway, but in the end, Zach and Preston and Danny, that was a whole little funny scene. But in the end, Zach ended up leaving because he had somewhere to go anyway. That is that. Side note, throughout this episode, did y'all notice that it was a lot of popping colors um, going on in this particular episode? We have Sabrina with the bright orange. We have Zach and Fatima in matching blue. Did y'all notice that? We also have um, Andy. I think she had the green, the real bright green on, okay? That was just some things that I noticed. Side. Okay, getting back on topic. Now, um... I'll speak on the what was going on with Maurice. He finally um, got a chance to speak to Calvin and told him that he went down to the DA's office and said <clears throat> that it was all him and Q and Sabrina had nothing to do with it. And he's basically at this point waiting for them to call to tell him when to come back down there. Right. And of course, Calvin had the reaction that we thought, which was absolutely not. You're not doing this. Why did you do that? I'm going to call Sabrina and Maurice is just like at the point where he's like, look, it is what it is. I've already done it. This is happening. You're right. She does not deserve this. She got roped into this because of me. I'm going to do what I got to do to allow her to move on with her life and get back to, you know, her life because she's not she's not built for this. And it's just not right. Um, I will say this was at this point, this is like the most serious that I recall Maurice being um, in pertaining to the situation with the DA in this case. Um, super serious. He wasn't joking around. He had a straight face. You could just tell that he was just like, okay, I'm not joking around right now. But anyway, like I said, Calvin ended up calling Sabrina and telling him what Maurice did. So that's that. And of course, her words, I'm on the way. I'm coming over there. So that's that. Now. I'm going to skip. I mean, we know there was the scene where Sabrina is calling um, Danny and they're both basically about to tell each other that they're not going to be able to make it to Karen's, which at this point, Karen was already leaving her home anyway. So I highly doubt they would have caught up with her anyway, but they probably should have. We're going to get to that. Now, um, <clears throat> I'm going to... Da, 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 da. 
get on, I'm going to skip right on over to Pam and um, Aaron at the salon. So he's still there. He's cleaning up. Zach arrives. He sees Aaron and he goes into the whole toxic, not toxic masculinity, but just the whole wanting to puff out your chest thing. And it's like, dude, at this point, you do not have to do that. You said you do not want Karen. So at this point, you do not have to keep on with the antics between you and Aaron. Let him, Aaron, be dumb for Karen if that's what he wants to do. But don't even pay him no mind at this point. Like, Zach, you, Zach is looking really dumb. And you also make yourself look like you showboating to say to him, if you really wanted Karen, you could, which we know he could. But still, not necessary. So Zach shows up. He drops off the check. Whatever. Then he had the audacity to say, if she needs more, you let her know to, uh, that I got her. And he leaves. Whatever. So unnecessary. Um, back over at the office, um, Gary and Aiden are there. Gary comes by. Um, for what reason, I don't know. Still don't really know what's going on with the whole thing that they had going on with Paris. I think that was his name. Whatever his name is. That guy. And acquiring the business and all that stuff like that. I, I'm still understanding what the two of them have going on. Gary, of course, he sees Andy. He approaches her. I'm like, Andy, at this point, you know that when Gary is there at your office, your place of business, he's really there to keep an eye on you and see what you're doing and who you're talking to. And that's like, girl, the the billionth red flag when it comes to Gary, right? Um. <clears throat> Yeah, that, that was just so annoying. But anyway, and I'm getting all they named the A's mis, mixed up. Um, Andy, she pretends as if she has an important meeting to go to and hurries off to get away from Gary. Now, right when this happens, all of a sudden, here comes Zach rolling up. So now Zach's at the office. But I know that he's there for something important. I really feel like... He didn't even need to say anything to Gary or Aiden because you know that you don't really care for either one of them. Uh, but, of course, Zach wanted to make his presence known, which was just, like I said, unnecessary. But it is what it is. Um, and Aiden, poor Aiden, it's like I really don't like him. But, I mean, that girl took the prick off. And I'm wondering what the heck she's up to and if she's. Um, in the middle of trying of getting a hold of all his money and his assets and he don't even know it but he better be watching himself anyway moving on so Zach he meets with Fatima and a lawyer Zach was being such just so childish when he came in there mocking that man's laugh which was hideous by the way it was but that was just very childish of him and then to go in there and sit down and know and realize oh and they get introduced and this is the lawyer that's supposed to be helping you and then you want to reach your hand out as it, to shake this man's hand and he paid you dust i felt like it is what it is you was being childish with him and mocking his laugh and then you want to come in there and now you want to shake hands absolutely not the lawyer i don't think is going to be a good fit because he's basically saying we're going to try no you don't want a lawyer like that you want a lawyer that's going to fight for you so i don't think that guy is going to be a good fit Sidebar, I do think that Zach's radar was a little bit on point as far as the lawyer having some type of interest or flirting to some extent with Fatima. But Fatima ain't paying no man, that man no mind. Like, seriously, Zach, let it go. Anyway, um, now, while they're doing all this, doing the meeting and everything, this is when Fatima realizes, and I think it kind of came to Zach at like in that moment and just thinking about everything and what they saw um he's feeling like you know what i don't want to just do like a, a split custody type of situation i want full custody of this child um puts the team in a sticky situation because it's like i don't think you understand what that means when you say you want to get full custody of a child um like that that's a big big huge responsibility and honestly where zach is in life i don't know if he's ready for that you know what i'm saying on one end you're dealing with fatima karen and a possible baby 
And then now you have this child with that baby mama in, and she's really just in, in, in it for the check. That's all she's going to be looking for. I highly doubt she's going to be caring too much about what that child has going on. But we're going to find out more on that. So they have the conversation and he's really asking her, like, no, I really need to know. Like, will you be good with this? I don't think that was something where she should have given an answer that at that moment. She said she should sleep on that. Zev, that's a big deal. And then another thing, is they is his house even big enough to bring anybody else up in there? Because the way that they have it routed out is if it's pretty much like a loft, like a, a townhome type of situation. Like as soon as you go up the stairs, boom, bed. Yeah, that's what I that's what it kind of looks like to me. It doesn't look like you open a door and go into a room. Just saying. Okay, moving on. Um now, that's that. As they're sitting in there having their conversation, Andy comes in. Remember, she told Gary that she was going for a, an important meeting. So now she wants to step in and pretend as if that was the meeting she was talking about. She just wants to, you know, stay occupied just so she could not even have to deal with him until he's gone. Okay, so that's there. So she's just hanging out in there with them. Now, <clears throat> da 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 da. Maurice, he did finally get the call for him to come and report to the DA's office or the station, the police station. So Sabrina and Calvin are like, we're coming. I don't care what you say. I'm calling the lawyer to meet us down there as well. Eventually, we start getting the, the Maurice that we know. We're starting to get a little glimpse of him. Um, I thought it was too freaking funny where he was like, baby, I'm going to pour this cup um, of wine. So he had the glass of wine and he had the bottle and took everything with him. Forget it. Okay. You know, you finna go to jail. You finna be in there for some years. Go on and get your wine and go on and get your bottle of wine, honey. You already in trouble. Whatever. Moving on. <clears throat> now, the big part of this, hmm. the biggest part of the episode towards the end. Karen, she shows up to the salon. Pam hands her, tells her about the check, says that, um, what's his name? Zach shows up and then he dropped the check off, and, you know, just passing along the message. And of course, Karen, she's still pissed about the night before. So she's like, no, I don't want it. You can take it back to him. And then before Pam could say anything else, Karen grabbed the check, ripped it up. And then said, I'm going to call him. So he calls. Mind you, they're back in the office, in Fatima's office, right? Fatima, Andy, and Zach. They're all together. He didn't answer the phone. She calls again. And Fatima, of course, being Fatima, she's like, who is it? Let me see. She looks at the phone. She answers it immediately. Even though Zach was like, we know this is not going to go anywhere. So what would be the point of even answering that phone call? I agree. Um, now she answered the phone and of course Fatima, Karen immediately gets mad. She's calling there. I mean, talking crazy, calling her all kinds of names, threatening, saying, I, if you come to my house again, I'm going to shoot you. You know, Fatima's like, you know, you know where I am. You won't want, basically, you don't want none of this. No, you know, just all kinds of crazy, just back and forth. Karen is looking crazier and crazier. Everyone is trying to get the phone from her to get her tail off that phone. It's not happening. It's insane. And I mean, they're all, and mind you, she's on speakerphone so they can hear everything. So Karen at this point is like, well, I'll come up there. I'll come to your office. I'm like, okay, this is a place of business. And y'all really be on some extraness at this company. Like, What? It's a lawyer's office at that. But, okay. That's that. Now, not too long after that happened, Andy gets a phone call, right? She knows who it is. Fatima's like, no, answer the phone. Answer it right here. Oh, answer it right here in front of me. Zach's like, no. Andy's like, I really don't know what to do. I, I hate when Andy does that little scared girl thing. She's like, well, I don't know. What, I don't know what to Zach's like, please step out and take that phone call. So she goes out in the hallway. She answers. 
At this point, Karen is basically saying, I need you to check your email. You need to show them the email. And I'm just like, why are you dragging her into this? Or, you know, I think she was helping her with the whole child support thing, but it is what it is. I feel like Karen, I, I, I really don't know. Regardless of the fact, Fatima for sure heard key words within the message of between between Karen and Andy's phone call. And Andy completely forgot that Fatima has access to her email. You know, she's her assistant. So it seems like, okay, you don't want to tell me. You don't want to look and see what's going on. I'm going to check your email. She checked the email. And of course, what she saw was the results. So you guys, the results is basically saying that the baby belongs to Zach. Um, the team was faced. Um, to be honest with y'all, I still kind of feel a little iffy on that. I still don't think it's Zach's baby. I really don't. I don't care what little email she done forwarded to them, but I don't think it's Zach's baby. I don't think that that's real because... I really think that Karen is willing to do anything to try to keep some type, some type of attachment to Zach. I really, really do. I really do. So, of course, we're not going to get any more information than that. They finally told us at towards the end that they're saying it is Zach's. I don't think it is. I really don't. <clears throat> but we will find out. I'm assuming coming October, we'll... It's going to be a whole nother storyline and we'll let that be. But for now, that is what is being said. Do I believe it? No. I think Karen's on some extra stuff. She's been overly crazy. I know they want to say it could be the pregnancy hormones. But I, honestly, I'm almost thinking that Karen's not even pregnant anymore. I really don't think she is. Just saying, y'all. I'm just saying. Could be another reason why she was trying so hard to sleep with Zach again just saying but let's just keep that as a theory it's a theory all right now maurice we can just touch on him real quick basically he appeared at the police station he has been taken into custody obviously they do not believe maurice so, but we're gonna see what happens with that so that was the end of that <clears throat> now we get a clip at the very end Karen shows up to the office. That's what they show us. They show us Andy intercepting Karen. And then we see the backside with the same suit on of what appeared to be Fatima. And then they show us Karen taking her gun out and shooting Fatima. I don't think this is real, you guys. Something about that scene just looked overly fake to me as if somebody was daydreaming. You know what I'm saying? I do not think this happened for real. But we will see. Reason I'm saying that is why would Karen go up there and shoot Fatima, which would put you in put her in legal trouble, knowing that she's pregnant with Zach's child or just pregnant period we know Karen's a little off the rocker right now but I don't think that that is what really happened but we will see so that was the mid-season finale for sisters you guys um it was like I said it felt very like rushed to me even though they drug it out through the entire season but it felt very rushed um, can't wait to see what, what they're going to do with the stories, when, the storyline when they come back in October. We're going to see what happens. I mean, y'all let me know what y'all thought of the episode. I thought it was so-so, and I just felt like at that very end, I was like, yeah, no, this is fake. That didn't happen for real. And I still am sticking to my guns. I don't care what that little email said. I do not think that that baby belongs to Zach. Because I cannot understand why the manila folder that she had was a blank page. What was that? But yeah. But okay, y'all. Um, so that's all I have for 
my review on this episode. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I want to thank you again for watching if you have watched the video all the way through to the end. Um, have a beautiful and wonderful day. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, y'all.